Hey there, and welcome to the shop. In today's video, I'd like to introduce you to Blue Demon's ENI 55 electrode. In this video, we will discuss some of the details of this electrode, some safety concerns and how to deal with them, and a short demonstration of the product. Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. You can identify the type from the beginning letters. The AWS classifications for ENI 55 is ENIFE hyphen CI. Some of the most popular AWS classification types begin with E for electrode, ER for electrode or rod, or B for brazing. In our case, ENI 55 is an electrode. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. An example of this would be the TIG welding process. The next letters designate the chemical composition of the filler metal or undiluted weld metal. In our case, the NIFE indicates the electrode's composition is a nickel iron alloy. And finally, the CI appended to the end of the classification to indicate this electrode is intended for use on cast iron. This designator cuts down on confusion for similar types of non-cast iron electrodes. ENI 55 is composed primarily of nickel and iron. Nominally, it contains 55% nickel. ENI 55 is used in the shielded metal arc welding process. It's available in sizes 3 32 1 8 5 32nd, and 3 16 This electrode can weld in all positions and utilizes DC electrode positive welding current. ENI 55 is a more economical filler metal than ENI 99, which contains nominally 99% nickel. ENI 55 is designed for welding gray iron casting and gray cast iron to mild steel. ENI 55 is machinable. However, it will require the use of carbide tooling to do so. When welding, a preheat and interpass temperature of nothing less than 350 degrees Fahrenheit is recommended. ENI 55 is used in a wide array of applications. Some of the common uses are machine bases, motor housings, farm equipment, gears, large castings that need to be machined, or when cast iron needs to be welded to mild steel. Other weldable alloys include nodular iron and some non-ferrous base metals. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using ENI 55. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket, or long sleeve shirt. I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. 
Now that we've covered the safety portion, let's set up a few coupons and I'll demonstrate this product. I'll be right back after I get my gear on. Welcome back. Now that I got my gear on, let me explain what our demonstration will be today. So first off, I have a scrap piece of cast iron with a few grooves cut in it. This will give me some place to test my welding on just to make sure I've got everything synchronized and, and I'm, I'm running my beads good. Our actual test piece will be this exhaust manifold. This, this piece has a few cracks in it, so what I intend on doing is locating the end of one of the cracks and I'll, I'll identify the ends, I'll drill two holes, that'll stop the crack from spreading, then I'll groove out the crack, and, and there's a few good cracks, they're pretty straight actually, so we'll groove that out and then we'll, we'll put on our filler metal and uh, get this repaired. Okay, so we're, we're back from padding beads, comfortable with, with arc length, amperage and everything. We're getting ready to weld on the exhaust manifold. I'm gonna bring it up to temperature with this. Uh, gonna make one full pass all the way across. Uh, I fully expect there to be some porosity that I may have to grind out or maybe some underfill. Uh, cast iron is not the easiest metal to weld, so uh, with that in mind, I'll preheat this and I'll bring you back for an arc shot here in just a second. Okay, real happy with the way this turned out. Got a little bit of slag there that doesn't seem to want to come off and some more right there. But as you can see, that filled that crater really nice. And we're gonna get some preheat on this so this cast iron will cool down a lot slower because you're supposed to cool it down uh, slowly when you, when you weld on it. But um, got a real good feel out of that and the weld looks nice. I don't see any porosity, but um, Looks really good. Done a great job. All right. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.